Good morning, all my sweet friends. It's Keto Genie. Happy Wednesday. Is it already Wednesday? Oh my gosh. Um, so, in lieu of my little coffee talk this morning, actually, my coffee is pretty much gone. I've got my electrolytes. And um, yeah, just really trying to chip away at the final stages of this cookbook, you guys. I'm so excited to get this cookbook into everybody's hands. But so I did decide to include a section in the cookbook that is how to start keto, according to Keto Genie. And um, revising that today actually just reminded me of something that is my core message. And I want to remind everybody who is listening to this, any of my social media people. You are not broken, okay? You are not broken. You've tried diets in the past and those diets didn't work. It's not that you didn't work. You're perfect. You just need to lose some weight. You wanna get healthier, you wanna get more fit. You wanna get stronger, okay? This isn't about you failed or how many diets haven't worked for you in the past. Those diets didn't work. But you worked, I know you worked. I didn't. I don't know all of you, there's so many people, I think I have almost 5,000 followers between all my social media. And you know, obviously I don't know all 5,000 people that are following me, but I know you. I know you because I was you, okay? And we've all started that diet where, you know, we pig out on the weekend and we decide, okay, like, Monday's the day, like Monday I'm gonna, I'm gonna get healthy, Monday I'm gonna start going to the gym, you know, Monday I'm gonna start drinking, you know, more water than a camel, you know. We, we've all been there, you guys. We've all done that. And when the diet doesn't work, we start bashing ourselves. And we start telling ourselves that we don't work. We start telling ourselves shit like, you're just lazy, you have no discipline, you have no self-control, um, you can't resist temptation. You know, we tell ourselves things that are horrible. We call ourselves names and we say things that we would never speak to another human being, even our worst enemy. Think of someone that you just actually can't stand. I bet you that you have said more evil, mean, hurtful, shitty things to yourself than you've ever said to another person. And that is why the cookbook, that is why Keto Genie, this has got to stop, okay? And there's somebody lurking on this page right now. There's somebody who is curious about keto, who's wanting to try keto, and is listening to all the naysayers and is trying to dig around and trying to figure out, well, you know, how do I follow keto? How do I start keto? And there's that little voice. There's that little voice that's telling you, Oh, what's keto gonna do? Why is keto gonna be any different? Look at how fat you are. Look at how overweight you are. Why would keto work? Nothing else worked. You couldn't stick to anything else, so why, can, why do you think you can stick to keto? Okay, I'm making this video to tell that voice to shut up. Stop, shut up. The thing that's different about keto is that keto is giving your body the nutrients and the foods that it needs to function in a deficit where you're not miserable, okay? To function in a calorie deficit where you're not eating rabbit food and celery sticks and just completely miserable. That's why keto works. That's why it's a diet, it's a lifestyle that works, okay? This thing where every time you try something that doesn't work, you take the hit on your self-esteem and you beat yourself up and you verbally abuse yourself and you allow that vibrant, beautiful, vivacious woman or man that's in there, that's inside of you, that's trapped in there because it's being weighed down by all the calories that we've enjoyed. And I have gotten in trouble with some clients before, guys, about saying to people, and they say, oh, I can't live without pizza. And it's like, well, how many pizzas are attached to the back of your ass? You know, how many pizzas have you already enjoyed? How many pizzas are you wearing right now? You know, and, and I'm not saying that to be hurtful, but it's like, be realistic. Every one of us is carrying extra body weight. We are walking around carrying those calories that we've already enjoyed, you know? And the magic thing about keto and the magic thing about you on keto is that keto gives you the key. 
Keto allows you to unlock that, those stored calories that you've already eaten. That's what keto does. And keto can change your life. And you can do this. You can absolutely do this. I promise you, you know, when you get this cookbook in your hands, when you read my section on how to start keto, I'm telling you, you can do this. So right, right now, I don't have much room for any more coaching clients. I probably have about two openings left. But if you are someone who is lurking on my page, if you are someone who is telling yourself that and you're in this negative headspace and you need some help, please, please message me and reach out to me. I will give you a free consult over the phone. I will talk to you about starting keto and I will help you. And I'm telling you guys, it will change your life. It will 100% change your life. And you know what? Everyone asks me, well, it's not that easy. You know, it's not that easy to say no to pizza. It's not that easy to say no to treats. It's not that easy. And you know what, guys? That's why I became Keto Genie. That's why it's my full-time job. That's why I went out and found partners locally here to enable my Keto Genie tribe members to go drive through. That's why I have amazing partners at Cafe Crema House who allow people to drive through and get a Keto coffee and a Keto Genie muffin or a Keto Genie donut or a Keto Genie brownie that, that they can stay on track and they can stay off of that sugar and carb wheel. You know, I did the meet and greet at Rocket Donuts downtown and I met so many people who shared their stories of, of huge weight loss, of huge transformations. I mean, my friend Quan, like he is one of the most incredible transformations that I've ever seen on keto in real life. I mean, he blew me away. So you guys, keto will work. I promise you it will work. And this is my life, this is my passion. And it's not just about business, it's not just about selling cookbooks or selling donuts. You know, yes, I have to make a living, this is my job now. But this is what gets me up in the morning, okay? This is what has me like almost in tears over my coffee because I get messages all the time from people who don't feel pretty, don't feel attractive, they wanna change their life, they wanna feel better in their skin. And what pisses me off is that half the time, the person who is sabotaging them, the person who is bringing home Krispy Kremes, is their spouse, is their husband or wife. Like, honestly, you guys, okay, I gotta talk myself off the ledge because that just gets me so heated. It's like anyone around you that is being negative and anyone around you who is trying to sabotage your efforts to being healthier, which means you're gonna be happier, they've gotta go. That person's got to go. And I'm not telling you to divorce your spouse. I'm not telling you that. But it's like you need to just let it roll off you and not listen to them. Because when you change what you put in your body, when you change your relationship with food, and when you get off of this insulin spike, this, this thing where it's like your cravings are almost impossible to resist, when you have this freedom where it's like, wow, I'm running on ketones. I'm, I can use my stored body fat. I'm busy. I don't have time to eat. Your body just says, well, Shan, here's a little bit of body fat we can use for energy. Keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. <sighs> Anyways, sorry, guys. It's a Wednesday, I guess. You know, and Wednesday is typically my rate yourself day where I tell everybody to give themselves a number and rate yourself on how you're doing and what your efforts are. And you know what? I'm gonna rate myself an eight this week. I've been mm, doing pretty good, but just dragging ass in a little er couple areas. And you know what? I was just finishing the section for review in my cookbook and it just reminded me to get on here and tell every single person in my Keto Genie tribe, every single person that hears this video, you can do this. You are not broken. You are strong and you are capable and you are powerful and you have willpower. Okay, you can absolutely change your life by changing what you eat. And I'm telling you, you are worth it. You're so worth it. So I'm gonna wrap this up. I got stuff to do. I gotta go to Costco. I gotta go to the lab and work out. Um, I've gotta make donuts. I've got a busy, busy day ahead of me. But I am never too busy to answer somebody's question or help somebody. In almost five years of being Keto Genie, there is not a single DM or private message that I have ignored and not answered. So if you need help, if you're 
wanting to try keto, but you're nervous or you're afraid or you just have some questions, hit me up and I will help you. Okay? Let's crush our Wednesday, guys. You're amazing. You're awesome. You're a freaking rock star. You're kick ass. You're powerful. You're a warrior. You can do this. Tell yourself you got this. Love y'all.